Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I am Darren, I'm your host, and today I'm gonna do something I know I've never done on the channel before. We're gonna make chicken fajitas on the Camp Chef flat top griddle, but we're gonna sous vide the chicken first. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready and I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, all this is a pretty simple recipe. So I've got my chicken already marinated in a, a sealed bag, vacuum bag. Just some regular chicken breast. I think I marinated it with just some Greek seasoning. And then we're going to stick it in the sous vide and I'm going to heat it up to 146 for about two hours. Just enough to get it cooked all the way through. Um, not worried about pasteurization because we're going to sear this up at the uh, end anyway when we make the fajitas. We're going to put some peppers and onions and all that on there, make it up, and then we're going to make some fajitas out of it. So I got the uh, uh, sous vide already coming up the temp. It's at like 94 degrees right now. I'm going to go ahead and put my chicken in. doesn't really matter when I put it in. The uh, sous vide uh, circulator is going to start counting down once it hits 146 degrees. And then I might take it out just a little bit before two hours. I really don't think I need to go the full two hours. It's not very thick. It's gonna get cooked all the way through. Don't really care about pasteurization because I'm gonna be chopping this up into fajitas anyway. But what cooking at sous vide is gonna help me do is keep the moisture in it and less cooking time on the flat top, less chance of it drying all the way out. All right, let me get this in and I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, it looks like, you know, my chicken is about done. It's uh, probably got another, it could probably go another 20 minutes or so. But I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, Camp Chef all fired up here. Just going to turn on my gas. I'm only going to use two burners today. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Just going to use these two burners right here because we're not cooking a whole bunch of food. We're just going to get the uh, chicken and the onions and the uh, peppers cooked up. I already got my onions and peppers all chopped up and ready to go. I'm going to chop up the chicken when I when I get it on the griddle. I'm just going to use the uh, spatula to kind of chop it up fine. Then we're going to just put it on this plate and then we're going to make the uh, fajitas inside. I'm not going to go into what we all put in fajitas because we all put different stuff in it. Um, lettuce, salsa, guacamole, whatever you want, corn, rice. So um, we're just going to do the meat and the onions and peppers and show you how we're going to do that. I'll be right back when this gets heated up. Just wanted to show you that it really only takes about 10 minutes or so for this to get heated up. And we're going to use our Inkbird infrared to make sure that it's ready to go when we put the chicken on. I'll be right back. All right, all, I think my uh, griddle is getting up to temp. I'm going to go ahead and shut off the sous vide. Go ahead and take out my bag of chicken. And like I said, really didn't care if this got was in there for the full two hours. It was in there probably a little over an hour and a half. I'm just going to cut the bag here, drain as much of the juices out as we can. And like I said, we're going to just chop this up with the uh, spatula on the griddle. And I'm going to use some of the Fresh Jack's Authentic Taco Seasoning for our seasoning. So I'm going to put the vegetables on and the chicken on all at the same time and get them all cooked up. This should be up to temp. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, here we go. I got my Inkbird infrared. Yeah, it's telling me it's right at 450 degrees. So we're about good, I think. Yeah, we're good to get this thing started. I'll go ahead and put my veggies on first because these are not cooked at all. So we want to get them started. Hit them with a little bit of oil. And hit them with a little bit of seasoning. I don't want to over season this stuff, so just use a little bit there. 
of the Fresh Jacks Authentic Taco. I did turn on the third burner over here, so I got three burners going. That gives us plenty of room. If you want to continue to chop up your veggies more, if you're not happy with how you cut them, you can go ahead and do that. Just let them start to sweat down a little bit before we put the chicken on. And that'll give this side a little bit more time to heat up to the 600 range. Like I said, the chicken's cooked through, so we're just trying to uh, get that char or Maillard reaction to it. Let these cook a little bit. We'll get started. And we'll be back when the chicken goes on. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a different angle here. Maybe you can see a little better. Just hit it with my instant read again, and it's seeing it's over 500 now. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this chicken on the grill. I put a little bit of oil on there. You can hear that sizzling. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this up with my big sharp spatula here. Alright, I don't want to bore you with this guys, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I got them mostly chopped up. I'm going to go ahead and put my Fresh Jacks Authentic Taco Seasoning on there. Just a little bit more oil. Any large, larger pieces, I can just hit with my uh, spatula here. Cooking super fast because it's already cooked. Just getting a nice Maillard reaction. Vegetables are looking good. If you don't want to overcook those, you can just shut that burner off and just leave this one on for the chicken. Continue to chop it up if you want. Now you could chop this up before if you wanted to. I just saved time for me. I just decided to do it on the grill. But you can definitely chop it up on a cutting board before you toss it on the grill if you want. Just a little bit more taco seasoning. Just a little bit more oil here. That chicken breast will soak up a lot of that oil. So I'm not worried about it being over greasy or anything like that. That's it guys. Give another minute or two and we'll be done and I'll see you when we do a taste test all right guys quick and easy like I said got all my chicken over here got my peppers and onions over here yes I got plenty more chicken than I do um, peppers and onions so I'm gonna go ahead have a bite of this chicken you can tell it's got that caramelization on there and smells wonderful still very juicy and moist Mm -mm -mm. Can't beat it. Easy chicken fajitas. Sous vide and cooked on the flat top. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you follow the Fire and Water Cooking Podcast. And follow the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.